Hey everyone, this is Stephanie Hensley again, and this is the last tutorial. Um, it's going to be actually sketching the shoes. So as you can see here, I used my foot template that I showed you from tutorial two, and I just created three feet for some shoes to go on. And so we're going to start by just showing a bunch of different styles that you can um, design on these kind of foot templates. I have two hands this time. Kind of Mickey Mouse did a little system to hold my iPhone. So the sketches should come out a little bit nicer than they did the last time. Let's start with a square toe similar to the one that we did the last time. So we're going to make it a little bit angled out like this. It's going to be a sharp point there. Okay, and then we're also going to draw the heel back in. Similar heel to the one from last time. So we're going to erase this part just so you can get a better idea for when it takes shape. Let's do a little ankle booty for this one. You just go up a bit after this curve here and I mean you can kind of tell just by eyeing it that this is about where a shoe would end then let's just make a nice smooth curve you know when you're wearing booties that your foot needs a little bit more space to get inside the shoe so it can't be as tight as it is here okay back into this Sorry, my little Mickey Mouse system fell apart. As I was saying before, you extend with, this is called the collar of the top line. You extend it out a little bit so the foot has some space to get inside the boot. And then this is just a line to show that it goes back behind the leg. Just a little bit of a 3D effect, although you are drawing this in a side view. So I just shaded this part here to let the person who's viewing it know that it is inside the boot, not just part of the design. Okay, now I'm going to erase this, this line here so nobody gets confused. Let's do a zipper in the front. Okay, so that kind of changes this up a little bit. So you should show that that it kind of meets in the center so you actually kind of know what's going on right there. So that'll be the base for the zipper. Here's the zipper slider. That's what moves up and down on the zipper. Then I'm going to put a little zipper pull out like this so that you can see it a little bit better. And it's not so confusing since the sketch is a bit small. Okay. So then what I just do is I just make some diagonal lines fairly even and parallel to each other. And this is a just a quick way to draw a zipper in. And then you just draw the end of the zipper right in there. Okay? So you might even want to curve this a bit more so so people can tell that something's happening over here. <laughs> Let's say you could do like a little binding around the whole zipper that extends to the top line here. It's just basically about keeping, keeping your lines parallel and keeping them light so you can always try again if it's not going so well. So that's our first one. Maybe it has a bit of a piece in the back as well. 